greetings welcome back guys and always you know thanks for joining me here and listening and actually commenting so we can build you know our little community i love my group of people like it's such an intimate um relationship even though i don't know you guys but my regular it's 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 family like it just has that warm feeling you know it, like when you see a few of these people that are like high up there in following you know you get a mixed review and there's nothing wrong with mixed reviews good and bad but more time you have just a bunch of people following you and none of them are really with you you know so it's good that I have people here that, you know, I can actually feel that connection with, you know, so I appreciate you guys, you know, for always tuning in and, you know, so we can chat it up. And leading from that into the video that I wanted to do today, the topic that I wanted to touch on is how um, do you cope? with social media and the way the world has like changed and evolved into like this technology age you know <clears throat> how do you deal with social media how do you cope you know with that going on when you're just you know exposing the parts of your life that you want to expose because no one gives you a full hundred they show you what they want you know you to see <laughs> so they expose to you a part of their life but it's still a part of their life you know and things that they're going through and whatever frame of mind they're in and you're in the public eye 24 7 even if you're not posing you are looking and you are consuming and you are watching and some people can't even cope with that some people pose and then when they get the positive and negative feedbacks it's like the negative feedbacks kind of throw them for a loop and every now and then they'll go into the shell and this depression and even though they say oh i'm strong and i don't care about what this person they actually do care you know and then you have the set that just watch you know they log on every day and they're seeing what kim is posting and they're seeing you know what jamie is posting and they start comparing themselves to these individuals they start comparing their lives you know to these people's life and come on and then that now throw them into a loop of depression you know and then they'll delete their accounts and then they'll come back you know for whatever reason so how do you cope how do i cope um with the new age you know technology and the new world because i was born in the 80s so i'm somewhat kind of old school-ish and all of these things is like new to me even though i've been here in the world seeing it gradually change and now that i can sit right here and reflect on what my life used to be like you know as a early teens it's like day and night and so that's a big uh, shift right there you know so we're gonna touch on that today how i view um social media these days is that it's like a modern day pen pal you know when we used to get the newspaper back in the days and it would say a name and it would say a location a different country and we wanted to reach out to that individual and we wrote to them mail it back in the days on the island you know things by mail you have to wait a good couple months before you get back something in the mail and if that person even responds nowadays you can get instant gratification and connect with someone across the world like <laughs> that and that is the good part of it you know but then of course you know you have to compare yourself and of course yeah because that's the norm we are taught to compare right 
we are taught to compare black and white. We are taught to compare this God compared to that God. You know, there it's duality. You know, that's what we are taught. But now that you have the gift of thinking for yourself, you're supposed to be able to pick sense or nonsense. If you understand what I say, you're supposed to have a mind of your own. You're supposed to say, well, it don't have to be that way. We don't have to compare. Why do we have to compare? If I don't want to compare, I don't want to compare. Why can't we all just live? You know, just live. You know? But I just saw the world set up. It's comparison. Night and day. You know, yin and yang. Man and woman. <laughs> always comparison you know that's how the thing is but you don't have to be trapped in that mindset where you need to compare yourself to your sister and now you need to compare yourself to your brethren because when you look by nature a tree is out there just doing her thing gloriously doing i don't i refer to it as a woman i don't know why i was looking at a particular tree too <laughs> you know i'm just doing its thing regardless you know just pushing out new leaf or maybe shedding new leaf and needing a little more water and attention bloom and big blooms and one will bloom yellow and one will bloom pink and they're standing right beside each other and they're not comparing then i say trisha yeah come compare with to plant we can learn a thing or two from nature that's all i'm saying you know learn a thing or two from nature you can exist, we can exist amongst each other without all the fighting and the tearing down and the comparing, you know. And keep in mind, say, people share with you what they want to share with you. Honestly. You're not seeing their life 24-7, so how can you possibly know what, what that individual is all about? You might be married to someone for how many years and you don't even know that individual. So don't compare yourself to somebody because they post something about their life and you think that you must have. Then if you want it, go get it. You know, it's a free place. You go get it. You know, if you want something, you have the will to go forth and get it. You know, don't sit and compare and hate upon somebody that's actually doing something. Look at you. So, you know, it's just the frequency that you put behind it, you know, mentally where you are, you know, and this is how you know the growth of an individual. Because then if I can be on these medias and I can like someone picture, I can look at someone picture and I can look at, say for instance, another small businesswoman and she is booming and I can be like, wow, you know? One day, I'm gonna get her preps. I'm gonna figure her up. I'm gonna say, you know, go on there thing. That's all there is to it. You know, I'm gonna figure up eat an animosity for what? Where is that going to get me? <laughs> Nowhere. So why waste my time on that? That is what I say. You know, we're here wasting our time. You know, saving ourselves for the heavens <laughs> that we don't know about, right? Because faith that's that's what all that is about but what we do know about we're here dealing and going through petty petty things you know and wasting our times and life here so you better wake up you better wake up and you better see that you know the things that you get caught up on and the things that you allow to put you through anxiety and stress is not worth it and what are you doing about these things to make you a stronger person so that you can be at a better space in your life and you can actually enjoy living you know actually enjoy life you know what are you doing so yeah, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. Much love and bless up and pick up yourself.